Hello YouTube, Roland and Trumpsets here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put iTunes songs onto a blank CD. So, um, what you'll need is, of course, iTunes, um, a song, songs, or an album, in my case, an album, and a blank CD. And, um, what you'll need is to make sure that, um, it is blank, like there's nothing, there's no data on it at all, and that it is recordable. And I know this one is recordable because um, it says compact disc recordable right there. And, it, and um, I don't think it matters how much megabytes um, it has on it. This one has um, 700 megabytes on it. So um, what I'll need to do is... Um, here, hold on. Um, put the disc into the thing, the um the disk driver or driver whatever it's called. Like that. Put it in. Oh and um also make sure that the song songs or an album are in um a playlist. Cause if it's just in like the music the music folder right there, it will not work. Trust me I've tried it. And nothing happens. So um make sure it's in a um playlist and that one is mine, Brian. And also make sure that um, all the songs, unless they're um, like two or three of the same song, there are two of the same songs. But if I um, if I uncheck that one, then both of the if I uncheck one of the Enter Sandman songs, both of them will get unchecked. So yeah. But anyway, just pop the CD in. And then wait a second. Hold on. Okay. And then, um, once you put the CD in and put the songs into the, um, playlist, song, songs, or album, um, there should be, um, a burn disc button right here. So, um, just click that. And then, um, once you've clicked it, hold on, um, it should say checking playlist, and then after that, it should say burning disk. And then writing, don't tread me, Dre, don't tread on me, and, and all that, and all the songs. And yeah. And, um, yes, yeah, since, since the thing will probably take long. Oh, and, um, also... Just in case um the songs are taking a while to um to burn, that is usual. It's like yeah, so um don't don't worry if um if it's taking a long time. If it is, don't be worried. And yeah, and once the, um the things are once the songs are done down, I mean down burning um there there should there might be a thing that says like disc is successfully burned or something like that and then um yeah and then once it's um done it should say that and then just press ok or whatever you need to do after that and then um um take the disk out of the computer or laptop whichever one you're using and then put it back in and then um uh, and then if nothing happens, just open up on Windows Media Player, and then it should start playing. The song should start playing. But if there's a video on there, then the video should start playing, um, including the songs. So, yeah. And um, here, here's what um should it should look like when the songs are down burning. Just it should look like that. 
writing, and then the song, and then time remaining. Okay, YouTube, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe, write, comment, and request. And yeah, and I and I might be um, making another video on um, how to send songs from one computer to the another to another. And then I was gonna make a video on how to like burn it after you send it, but since since this video is pretty much how you do it, except not not from sent video, sent music, you know, I shouldn't. So yeah, thanks for watching. Rolling drum sits out.